Hey there guys, DJ here, back at you with yet another DJ's Brew Tube, but it's not a beer review. What could it be? Why is there a suitcase sitting in front of me? Well, as you may or may not know, I'm a beer geek. And if you haven't, you know, surmised that yet from the channel, you've got issues. But anyways, I am in fact a beer geek. And what do us beer geeks do when we go on a trip? Well, I went on a trip for work so I could go make some money and keep supporting my habit. I mean, keep tasting delicious craft beers. So what I do, maybe you don't, what I do is I go shopping. And when I'm on a trip, I also do some beer trading if I can find me another beer geek. And this time, I did a trade with one and only Eric Wood of Blackboard Beer Reviews. That's right, you've seen the channel on YouTube. If you haven't, I got his link down here in the little notes section. So I'm going to put this bag to the side, get the beers I have in here unwrapped. We're going to pull them out of the bag and show you what I got up in Minnesota, back in the flat. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back. Got all the beer that was inside the suitcase unpacked. Got all the bubble wrap and all that junk off of it. They were packed really well because you don't need to watch that crap, do you? No. So, I went shopping and I did a big trade with uh, Eric Wood, like I mentioned. And I'm first going to show you what I got shopping. And then I'm going to show you the really slick ass stuff that I got from Eric. So, you saw I had a small bag in front of me. Well, I packed that bitch like a clown car. I got a boatload of beer, so that's why I got a big old empty table here in front of us and some pedestals to put this mess up on. So let's see what we got first. First, we've got from Indeed Brewing Company, we've got their Day Tripper Pale Ale. I guess they're calling it Day Tripper because it's like a session level pale ale. I think this one's 5.5% uh, ABV or something like that, but I'm still looking for that totally awesome mega session pale ale. Next up, uh, from Lift Bridge, we've got a beer called Farm Girl, and this is their side zone. Uh, this is pretty highly rated in the guys at uh, Zips Beer Store. Shout out to Zips Beer Store, by the way, up in Minneapolis. Really great beer store. They re recommended this one. I see. Next up, we've got another Indeed Brewing Company, and this is their American Black Ale, which is a black IPA. And uh, this one's really highly recommended. I, I believe it's rye as well in this one. Can't remember what to show you on the review, but look at this, guys. Three beers out and three canned beers already. Up in Minnesota, man, the brewers and Wisconsin and all that area, man, they are totally embracing the can, which is the shit, because especially, like, these two hoppy beers, that's keeping them as tasty as possible. Another canned beer. We've got, um, let's see, from Great River Brewery, we've got their Farmer Brown Ale. Now, this is a brown ale, and it's 7% ABV and 22 IBUs. How do I know? It's right on the front of the can. How do I know if it's fresh? The date's right on the bottom, like all these. So... Really awesome stuff. I'm still looking for more Holy Grail type brown ales, and I wanted to see if this one, being from the same region, if it's any better than um, for any of them better than Bender, which I really liked, and you guys saw the review on. Next up, ha oh, ha, what do we have here? Ah, you know I'll be liking some of this. I did a review of this. I don't know if I posted it yet or not. I may have. If I did, you guys know I like it. Coffee Bender from Surly. Just a that's. That's one of the best flavored, actually the best flavored brown ale that I've ever had, and it's a session strength beer. That beer is the shit. And do I know it's fresh? Oh, of course, because it's got a candle and date right on the bottom. Rock on. Next up. Oh. Surly Furious. Hell yes. I reviewed this one also. Um, I don't know if I've posted the review on this yet. I've reviewed so many beers. i got so many in the queue. I can't remember. But is this one fresh? Yes, this beer is under a month old. And I know it's fresh, and it's in a can. Surly Furious is rock star level. Next, we've got a beer that is a mere 10 days old, okay? We've got Surly Overrated. That's right, they're overrated West Coast IPA. I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing this one because it's, um, I've been hearing guys saying it's awesome, guys say it sucks, and I want to give my own spin and see what we got. And look at this. We've got seven beers here and every single one of them is in a can. So I'm going to stop that trend now, but that's a lot of canned beer considering what's out in the market. Okay, next up that we got from our shopping trip. Oh, that's right. What do we got? We got Odell Mercenary, and this is considered one of the best DIPAs out there. The guys that at Zips were totally geeking out on this beer, and I asked Eric about it, who's had it as well, and he said it's really good. We don't get Odell around here, so I'm going to totally rock out on this one. And... um. It's, it's supposed to be super hoppy and up in your face, and that's what I like in IPAs. So, last beer, but not least, from the shopping trip. We've got to move these guys over, because this is a big beer. 
Um, Sterling produces not only beers in cans, but they also produce beer in 750 milliliter bottles. One of those is Surly Smoke. That's right, baby. We got their Smoke Baltic Porter Smoke. And this is the 2012. How do you know? Because right on top of the wax, it says 12. And my buddies at Zips pulled this out of their cellar for me. Why? Because Eric called them and said, hey, I got my, my buddy coming up from Maryland. Can you give him the hookup? And they said, hell yes. Bam. Surly Smoke, baby. How do you like that? You're not getting that now. It's gone. Mm-hmm. You got to know the hookup. All right. Now, on to some beers from Eric that was really generous. We did a little trade. I hooked him up with a little Firestone Walker stuff they don't get up in Minnesota. And he hooked me up with some really awesome stuff. First up, we'll show you the bonus beer he gave me. This is a, this is a bonus beer. Okay, usually bonus beer, something nice. But, you know, not totally rock star. Well, this beer is totally rock star. This is bourbon barrel aged barley wine from Central Waters. Hell yes. 12% bourbon barrel aged barley wine. Hmm. Gotta like that shit. Next up. Oh. This is one I thought I would never, ever be able to try. And we were working on our trade. He said, I got a beer for you. I'm, I'm sure you won't be able to find And most people can't. Which beer is that? Oh. That's certainly Pentagram, baby. This is their Brett Brew brewed beer, and it's 6.66% alcohol. Gotta like that, right? And I believe it's 66.6 .6 IBUs or something they say, but this is supposed to be a really funky, gotta put your brain around and grapple with it kind of beer, and that's the kind of shit I like to drink nowadays. Stuff that I gotta think about while I'm reviewing and telling you what it's all about, and I know Johnny's gonna want to drink that bad boy with me. What do we got next? What could be better, DJ? That's what you're probably asking. You're already showing me a whole freaking table full of awesomeness in front of you. And I'm and it's like crowding me out already. Well, I know something. A beer, another beer. I said, I'm never trying that. I've seen, uh, shout out to Professor Suds, by the way. I've seen Professor Suds review this beer, but I have, I've never had it. What beer is that? Oh, shit. That's Surly Six. That's right. What do you know about some Surly Six, guys? Oh, now you know because DJ's going to review it. That's right. Wax top and all. By the way, the Surly Wax is freaking industrial strength shit. It's not like your normal wax that'll pick and flake off. This stuff is freaking bulletproof. Anyways, this is nearly a 15% alcohol, like, strong ale that's just supposed to be big and burly and off the hinges. And look at the bottle art on that, guys. They do awesome bottle art. They, I think they even rival Stone in their bottle art on these painted bottles. Okay, next up. Oh, by the way, shout out to PA Brew News, Paul. There you go. Anyways, next up, oh, damn, this is a big one, guys. I don't know if I should show you, but I'm going to. I said, Eric, can you can you get me a bottle of darkness? And he said, geez, DJ, I don't know. There's none of that around. It's really hard to trade. But he's such a cool dude. He broke his last bottle of this out of his cellar for me. Thank you very much, man. You're totally fucking awesome. Thanks a lot, because I would never get this down here in Maryland. What is it? That's right, Surly Darkness. 2011 biatches that's right we got the zombie and everything and we got our little painted bo bottle beautifulness look at this look at this wax on here man it's industrial strength like i'm telling you so as you can see that's everything i had in my suitcase i couldn't have packed much more in that suitcase and you can see gj after he got done his work he was up late getting his beer on so thanks a million for watching guys remember what i say think globally Drink locally, support the craft beer movement. If you travel, support the local craft brewers. That's what I did. This is all local shit from, from Minnesota, okay? There's nothing foreign, nothing ex import. This is all local shit supporting. I even went to Minnesota Town Hall, and me and Eric hooked up with a couple brews. How, do you much, how much better does it get than that? That's what craft beer is about, supporting the local shit. So until the next time, guys, thanks a million for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that shizit. Until the next time, that's a big... Peace out!